So you have created a application and lots of component. In another project, you are trying to use the component but it is not working because your component have multiple dependencies between components and that's where the storybook comes into the picture. Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech and in today's episode, I will be discussing about Storybook. So what is Storybook? Storybook is a library which helps us to create all our component in isolation. So when I'm saying isolation, as I earlier saw you in that animation, like if you create a particular component or many component in a single project and later you want to reuse that particular component in another project but you find out that somehow that component is not truly reusable because you left some reference in other application other components for that particular component so so this storybook will help you to create all your component in isolation do testing do uh, uh, accessibility test and many more things so without further delay let's get started so today i have already a project uh, created so this is basically a single component we have a single component called weather which i have earlier used uh, to show one of the uh, video like we have created angular element project so so just let uh, check this So this single component we have and in uh, storybook will uh, so if you think about the use cases so we have three use cases one is the default view of this component one uh, you can change the unit of this uh, component to a different unit and another one uh, use case may be to change the location and test like if still works for other uh, uh, location as well so let's jump into that uh, I will close my browser now so uh, in this project I need to install <coughs> the storybook app, uh, storybook so for that let's use npx dash p at the rate storybook slash cli sbne and then dash dash type angular so within few moments it will install a storybook in your project and do all these configurations so once it is complete so it is saying like to run your storybook type npm run storybook so before doing that let's i uh, i'm showing you like what all things it's added so first of all within source directory it's added a folder called stories and there is a single file called index.stories.ts and in uh, there is another folder has been added dot storybook and within that there are few configuration file like one is config.js one is addon.js typescript configuration as well typescript uh, typing uh, file and in the package.json it is also added to new script build storybook and storybook now let's run that so npm run storybook let's see what happens so by default storybook comes with few uh, already created stories so let's uh, see that how um, what what all those are things <coughs> by default storybook comes with few uh, already created stories like it's a welcome stories there is a button story and few of the state of that like with text with some emoji with some emoji and action and also there is another button with a uh, uh, link to another story so if you click that it will take you this another story so this is the interface when i will start started the uh, storybook now we need to remove all this and uh, we need to use our component to show different state of that particular component so that 
our uh, other developer can quickly go through that component and then use reuse that in other project and also we can actually quickly check like if that standalone component is working on now so let's do that quickly so uh, I will go to source folder and then within stories within index the stories so these are all pre-made stories uh, so this starts with stories of and this welcome the first story and then this is the button story so i will just remove all these stories so i have now only this welcome story okay so what i'll do i will just rename it to weather component and then this add so uh, let's save this first and see like if that is changing so weather component so to storybook uh, my first will be default So you can see it's changing uh, so it is already checking uh, for your code changes and whenever you do any modification it will automatically update so weather component default now the next thing is we load our component here so to do this let's go into our component folder and see like what all dependencies our component have so our component have a ts file where all our component logic is there and we have a dependency of weather service and that component is uh, loaded into our app module so to load our component first let import our component here so once you that it's it's already imported now the next thing we'll do we'll import our uh, HTTP client because our component is dependent on uh, HTTP client module so let's import that as well so HTTP client module we have all already imp imported and then the next thing is our uh, we need to import also our service so let's import that weather service so now uh, before that so here we are referencing component welcome we cannot directly uh, refer our component here because our component is uh, dependent on this service and we need to create a similar kind of uh, like angular module how we uh, added our component and uh, HTTP client module in our uh, app module the same way we need to uh, create the story so for an example we what we need to do where we need to do a add decorator method so in this add decorator uh, this module data need to be there so let's input the module data from storybook angular so now uh, once we add that now uh, what we have done we have imported uh, same as module uh, metadata so similar to what you do in app module so those things i am passing as module metadata in imports i am passing client module declaration our component and provider we are passing our service and then uh, I'm adding the default first uh, state of our component this so what I'm doing here like in add the f our first state is default and instead of directly referencing our component I'm returning the template so in the first default uh, uh, state what I'm uh, seeing, I'm just uh, initializing my component. So if you go to our app component, uh, app component uh, HTML, 
so in, you can see this is the component i have added and this component need two inputs unit and location so i'm just uh, adding the same as our template so it should now load our default state so now let's go back to our browser and see in the default state our component has been loaded with the default uh, things correctly and now we will going to create the second uh, state here so the second state will be i want uh, this unit to be different so it support two different unit metric and imperial so let test with that So my second state is unit and what I've done I've just unit I have given matrix now it is imperial and the rest are same under weather component now I have default and another state had been created it's uh, within imperial so it is it will load the Fahrenheit uh, so the component is same so now if you click it's Celsius it's Fahrenheit now I want my third state uh of the same component to show a different location so let's do that so you can see i have uh, done the my its uh, location and the same component i've added but i have changed atlanta to london so this also added this location so one thing so this three state default units location but there is no notes has been added so how i can add these notes so we can see it supports markdown so let's implement that uh, so for that uh, i will add some markdown here so markdown basically like uh, so if any other developer going to use your component you can have some documentation for that and it can be loaded in the notes section so to do that uh, we need to open our dot storybook page and you can see like uh, uh, there are three add-ons already added add-on notes add-on links add-on action so i think we are fine here because this notes section already added uh, for you now go back to our index stories ts and within weather component we need to create a markdown file uh, which we can use here so under this component i will create a new file uh, weather read me dot md and uh, put some dummy content for now and then i will go back to our story uh, index stories i'll just simply import that import mark markdown from app weather weather with me so you can see uh, this not used so i will just use this markdown notes in the default section i just simply add that so i'm creating a notes and then i'm passing this markdown uh, and this value am uh, this uh, things i've added as markdown notes you can see there will be some issue because uh, it is showing it cannot find module because weather readme.md file is not a module to uh, to fix that what you can do you can put a comment and type ts ignore so it will go away if you go back to our storybook you can see if you click notes that note will be loaded here so that way you can actually create your component uh, uh, file uh, component uh, how uh, components readme file so that other developers can read through and understand how your component can be used in that project so this is simple very simple and another very good thing there are other add-ons also available for storybook for an example there is a11y or accessibility support uh, for your uh, uh, project so let's uh, uh, accessibility support and uh, it will automatically 
uh, check uh, for any accessibility issues in your component so to do that let's add that add-on to our project let me uh, just close this and then so I need to install that let's go to storybook project so if you go to this add-on section and uh, there are source and also uh, different different add-ons like knobs action source notes viewport story sort background accessibility let's click on this accessibility it will take you to a github page so this is the command so i am not using yarn i'm using npm so just copy this and go back to our project and then type npm so once you add that so once i add that the next thing i need to do i need to go to again this storybook folder in the add-on js i need to add that add-on so it is mentioned here like import storybook add-on 11 and register so i'm just simply copying that and adding here now we are ready uh, to let know that we have to we will be using uh, 11y so i need to import that first so import with a 11 y so i need to import that with a 11 y i believe from storybook add-on 11 y storybook add-on 11 y So now uh, the thing is I need to add another decorator so that I can pass that so add uh, decorator within add decorator I am just passing I am using I want to use with 11 y let's go back to so what is showing import without module has no exported member with a 11 y so maybe this a will be caps I'm sorry let's do that and go back to our storybook page now uh, oh uh, we have closed that so npm run storybook so let's start again our storybook so now you can see there is another tab has been added called accessibility and if you click that it will show you like uh, if your component have kind of any uh, accessibility so currently it is showing i have already two violations so it will give you the suggestion ensure the contrast between foreground and background color meets wcag2 aa contrast ratio threshold so this is a serious violation so we need to fix that and then another thing the image elements uh, should have an alternate text um, so it is also a critical thing so I need to add three passes and two income so you can see like it's kind of very great feature wherein for every uh, component you develop can quickly test for accessibility as well this is very important and also you can have notes so another great feature is you can uh, browse through um, the stories um, um, source code so let's go back here and uh, you can have this add-on and uh, let us uh, install that again i will install that let's close the browser we'll be installing using npm So dash dash dev is deprecated we need to use dash dash only equal to dev so okay this is the new thing i learned so this has been changed it is only so instead of dash dash dev now onwards we need to run dash dash only equal to dev okay so this one is installed uh, and in the <clears throat> same way i need to go back to the story view and this add on dot j section and we need to import this so I am now at story source I have added uh, in our add-on.js 
so basically for story source <coughs> there is nothing to import or uh, do anything rather than uh, it is a little bit tricky so you need to create a webpack config file here so I will create a webpack dot config dot js here and inside that uh, it's need a kind of code like uh, it's need the path and then uh, it uh, the config dot modules in the rule section will push the new rule uh, wherein it will test for within stories if there is a ts file that rule will apply it onto that and it will use a loader uh, to resolve uh, this add-on um, so it is uh, required and it will you parse the type script and automatically load that into our uh, uh, stories and stories can be then browse in uh, into our uh, action i'm not using that so let me remove these two things and then start our storybook again so you can see now another uh, section has been added now if you click that you can see the complete uh, uh, stories uh, is highlighted so this is the default state now if i go to units it will show you what uh, state we are in and the code and in the location it will also show you so a developer can simply copy this component tag and check in their application so it's really handy so like you can add different use different different add-ons and also another thing you can quickly check like there is options to change the style as well like you can quickly change your uh, styles or you can test your themes so there are others uh, add-ons uh, available for that as well and here is a nifty thing you can see like you can change the look and feel to see like how your uh, component looks with different different uh, filter color filters so to manage your component so this is the best uh, thing i found a uh, storybook for large project it's always better to create your component in isolation so you will never uh, uh, get any problem to reuse that component in any kind of projects so i hope you like this tutorial if like please share subscribe and like my videos Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend ahead. Thank you.